Okay, in our previous chapter, the link to which I will send over here, we had created a very simple HTTP load balancer, which had just one backend service. Now, in this particular chapter, we'll create a path-based HTTP load balancer. So, so since our HTTP load balancer is a layer seven load balancer, it is able to read the input request along with the path and based on the path that it gets, it will send it to the corresponding backend service. So for example, if the particular path has an app one associated with it, it will send it to our backend service one. Similarly, if it has app two associated with it, it will send it to our backend service two. And correspondingly, if it has app three, it will send it to our backend service three. So that is how our load balancer was going to look like. So what we're going to do is we're going to create three distinct instance groups and each of these instinct groups would be the backend service that would be associated with our HTTP load balance. So the first thing that we will do is we'll create an instance template and this instance template will be associated with this particular startup script that we that I will send in the description below. So once we've created this instance template, we'll create an instance group out of it. And this particular instance group, we will assign it to our load balancer. So let's start off by creating our instance template and then let's create an instance group out of it and then finally let's create our http load balancer okay we'll start off by creating our instance template so let's click on create instance template and let's choose e2 micro and let's choose standard persistent let's click on select and the only thing that I would be doing is I'd be allowing HTTP tra traffic as well as I'll be adding a startup script. So let's go to our startup script. Let's click on management and I'll be adding this particular startup script. So all that it does is it creates a index.html page for the path app one. So that's the only thing that I'll be doing. So I'll be creating a Apache web server. I'll be creating an app one uh, folder and within that I'll be just adding an index.html file. So let's copy this. Now this particular startup script i'll give in the description below so you can just go check that out and let's paste it over here let's click on create and i'll be using the same template to create my second and my third instance template as well so let's click on create similar and now the only difference is that i'll go to my management And here I'll just make some text changes. So I'll just make this as app two and I'll change the path to app to here as well. So I've created a folder called app two and within that I'll just add an index.html file. And likewise, I'll do the same for my third instance template as well. So let's click on create and let's create a third instance template. Just make this as app three. And I'll just call this as app application three. So let's click on create. So once we've created all these three instance templates, the next thing that I need to do is I need to create instance groups out of them. So let's go to our instance group and let's create three distinct instance groups for all these three instance templates that we've created. Let's click on instance group now. And here I'll be selecting my first instance template and I leave everything as it is. So let's just keep the num maximum number of instances as two. And let's add the health check as well. And that's the only thing that you need to do. Let's click on create. And similarly, I'll create an instance group for my second and my third application as well. Let's call this as instance group two. So I'll be using the second template and I'll be adding the health check as well. Let's click on create. And likewise, let's create our instance group three as well for our third application. Okay, now that you've created your instance groups, let's go to our load balancer and let's create a load balancer. Let's go to load balancing. And let's create our HTTP load balancing. So we'll be again choosing the HTTP load balancing. Let's click on start configuration. It'll be the same setting. It's going to be from the internet and it's going to be a classic load balancer. Let's click on continue. 
So now let's configure our backend service. So we need to create three distinct backend services for our, all our three applications. So again, it's going to be like how we created it for the previous load balancer. So everything is going to be the same. So we'll be just choosing the instance group one and it's going to be on port 80. And we'll only choose the health check and everything else would be defaulted. Let's click on create and we'll give a name for our load balancer. Let's just call this as application backend. Let's just call this application one backend. Let's click on create. And similarly, we'll create a backend service for our second and third application as well. This will be group two. And again, port 80. And finally, let's choose our health check and let's click on create and again finally for our third application as well so let's call this as application 3 backend let's click on the instance group 3 that we've created and again it's going to be port 80 that it's listening to that's because we have a uh, apache server on port 80 so that's the reason why we've done that let's click on create so finally we've created all our three backend service let's click on ok and now is the important step of providing the host and the path. So let's click on host and path. So here you need to give the domain name as well as the path and the backend that that particular path is going to go to. So here you have host one, which is basically the default path, which is going to our first application. Let's also create our host two. So here we need to mention our domain. So I have created a domain called very lazy coders.in. And this is basically going to this particular path. So the path is app one star and whenever our request has an app one associated with it we'll again send it to our application one and similarly we'll create another ho host so again it's going to be the same host again and now if we get an application two in our path we're going to send this to our second application backend and let's add another host as well And this is going to be application three. And this again is going to point to our third backend service. So we've created in total three backend service. And there, there is the default one, which is also going to be pointing to our first application. So the default path would be the application one. So whenever there is no path associated with the host is going to go to our first backend service. And if it has a path app one is going to our first application backend again and if it has app 2 then it's going to go to a second and if it has app 3 it's going to go to a go to a third backend service so that's the only thing that we need to do and finally once we've created our backend service and we've created our load balancer we're going to get an ip address that particular ip address we need to associate with this particular domain so let's create our particular load balancer finally let's also give a name for our load balancer let's just call this as app load balancer and let's click on create and the output of this again was, would be an IP address that we would associate with our particular domain. So let's wait for this load balancer to get created. Okay, so now that our load balancer is done, so let's open our load balancer and let's get this particular IP address associated with our domain. So let's copy this and let's go to our domain. So let's so once again, this is the DNS for my particular domain. So the, all that I need to do is I just need to associate this particular IP address with my particular domain. So let's do that. So this is basically my IP address. Let's paste it here and let's save it. So I've created an A record in my particular DNS and this A record points to the IP address of the load balancer. So that's the only thing you need to do now. Let's wait for 10, 15 minutes for the changes to reflect. So after five to 10 minutes, you'll see something like this. So if I go to my app one.index.html for my very lazy coders dot in domain, you'll get an application one. And similarly, let's just change this app one to app two. And you'll see that it's pointing to the application two. So that is basically the second backend service. And similarly, if you go to an app three, it'll point to the third backend service. So that is how you can create multiple backend services and connect them to the same domain. I hope this was useful. I will see you in the next.